Hi guys, welcome to javainterviewquestions.com. This is Sandeep. Uh, let's see a problem today. Uh, the problem here is I want to search an element in an array. I want to search an element in an array. If element is present, print the index of that element. If the element is present, print the element of the index. Else print like element is not present. Okay, you should take the uh, input from the console. The number that need to be searched in the array and check whether the element is present in the array or not. If present, just print the output as element exists or element is present at the particular index. So let's write the program. First, uh, I have written a class called public class search demo. Here, now I'm writing a main method. So in order to take uh, first, uh, what I'm doing is I'm creating an integer array int 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 array equals to I'm defining elements in an array 1 2 3 1 2 4 3 6 4 so this is my array so now what I need to do is I want to search an element in this array so in order to search for an element in array we need to we need a number we need that number and we need to take that number from console in order to take a number or a string from the console in order to take the input from the console we have a few classes first what we need to do is we need to define a buffer reader buffer reader br equals to new buffer reader of new input stream reader of system dot in so what is the purpose of this line is to take the input from the console so here i am writing ansysort for easy understanding enter the number to be searched so whatever the number we want to search in this particular array first we need to take that input from the console so this line is used for taking the input from the console so we have a method in br that is buffer reader class which is br dot read line so whatever the input we give from the console string input so br dot read line <coughs> so this read line method it is an unhandled exception type io exception so either we need to use try catch block or we need to use throws so for the time being i am using throws io exception so now what i am doing is while not while sorry string input so since the array is the integer here we have the input in the form of string why because this read line method will return string so now we will convert this input uh, string into integer integer number equals to string dot we have a method called value of sorry not string dot integer dot value of integer dot value of input so this will what this line will do is it will take the input from the user and it will uh, after taking the input it will convert the string value this line what it does is it will convert the string value into integer value so so far what we did was like we take we took the value from the input and we read the value into a string variable which is input and uh, now we have converted that input very value into integer no now we have a number we have array so in order to search a number in an array what we have to do is we need to compare the entered number or the search number we need to search in this particular array by comparing each and every element <clears throat> so the enter in this enter the number to be searched is there right so whatever the number we entered we have to search in this array by checking each and every element for this what I am doing is I am writing a for loop 
for int i equal to 0 i less than length i less than array dot length i plus plus if array of i equal to equal to number so what i am doing is first i am writing a for loop for int i equal to 0 i less than array dot length i plus plus if array of i equal to equal to number then what i am doing is i am taking a i am taking a boolean flag here uh, i am naming it as boolean is present so if the number is present what i am doing is i am making this is present equal to true okay and now i am taking another variable which is called index and here i am uh, assigning index equal to i so this is present will contain what value true if the number is present in this array else if is else if index l what we say index in the next line index equal to i that means we are assigning the value of i to the index so in what index this element is present that will that that will contain in this index so now after this for loop what i am doing is i am writing an if condition if is present equal to equal to true what i am doing is i am writing a sysout in this sysout what i am doing is element is present at index I am write, writing an index. If is present, after for loop, what I am doing? I am writing is present. Let me check uh, the local variable is present may have not been initialized. So, first uh, I am uh, giving a value of is present as false and the index value as null. As I haven't initialized, so that is the reason I got compilation error here. So if is present is true, I am printing system dot out dot window and element is present at index. So else I am printing element is not present in array. So this is the program. First we will run the program and then after taking the input from the console. I'll explain you line by line what it does. So now what I'm doing is I'm running this program run as Java application. So first what happened is system dot out dot printl and enter the number to be searched. This line got executed. Okay. Now I have entered a number called three. Okay. So now what happens is when I entered three this three value is first stored in this input variable why because whatever the line or the data we have entered in the console is read by using br dot red line and it is stored in input variable so after that what we are doing we are converting this three string three into integer so now integer number will contain three let's see and uh, after that what happens is so now I am looping through this array for int i equal to 0, i less than array dot length, i plus plus. If array of i, so array of i is nothing but, so initially i will be 0. If array of 0 equal to equal to 3, is present will be true. So let's see what is array of 0. Array of 0 is what? 1. So this if condition won't get executed and is present will be false now. Now what happens? Now i will be 1. So what is the value of array of 1? Array of 1 is 2. So it will check if array of 2 equal to equal to 3. So array of 2 is uh, array of 1 equal to equal to 3. So array of 1 is what? 2. So 2 equal to equal to 3. That is false. Now array of i will be array of i will be 2. So what is array of 2 here? Array of 2 is 4. 
so 4 equal to equal to 3 false and again is present will be this condition won't get executed now array of 3 array of 3 so what is array of 3 array of 3 value is 3 if array of 3 equal to equal to 3 so it is true now is present will be true and index will be 3 sorry index will be yeah 0 1 2 3 index will be 3 this is how the program gets executed. So after the enter the number to be searched, so first what I did, I am entering a number. So element is present at index 3. Why? Because the index of 3 is 3. Assume that now I want to search an element called element 10. Does 10 element exist in this array? No, right? So now it should print the output as system dot out dot print element is not present. Element is not present in array. So this is how we write a program to search for an element whether that exists in array or not. Hope you guys understand this video. Thanks for watching my video. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe to my video.